Hello guys and uh, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Honda Civic 200X. A very, very, very rare and uh, a very underrated bike in the 200cc segment. It is often misunderstood as an uh, off-road motorcycle, uh, which it is not. This is completely an highway tourer, uh, like if you take the bigger machines like the Multistada or the GS, all of these bikes are how they are road oriented and highway oriented bikes and uh, this is the cb 200 x also is the same feel. Many people compare it to the x 200 because of its uh, weight category. Since both of them have 200 cc engine, though this one has a 180 cc engine and but it is named as cb 200 x but still it is compared with the x 200 and they should because uh, the pricing is almost the same but uh, the CC is not and also the power the power figures are the same between these two this one also produces around 17-18 bhp and x also has 17-18 bhp but uh, where x excels uh, is in the off-road category but it's very tiresome to ride on the highway but on the other hand this cb 200 x is a very very good highway oriented motorcycle because this one has beautiful gear ratio see in the fifth gear only it is able to cruise at 80 to 90 kmph and uh, i do the same thing in my cb 250 r in the sixth gear so i should say that uh, the gearing has been figured out very 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 good in this bike in terms of vibration there are mild vibration after 7000 rpm near the foot pegs and under the seat as well uh, and uh, <coughs> the gear ratio is amazing man it has power throughout the rear band maybe after uh, 8, 8 and a half 9000 rpm it doesn't have the same power as what it delivers from initial to that rpm but it is a very 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 beautiful motorcycle if you want to start your highway touring and everything this is a very good one because see it's very, so easy to overtake and this one also comes with an ABS though it is a single channel ABS that works only on the front wheel it doesn't have a rear ABS but this is a very good motorcycle man this has USD forks the suspension is very soft the seat is comfortable the riding position is also comfortable for someone as me who is 5 foot 11 it's very comfortable for me but the owner of this bike uh, his name is Arnab and uh, he owns this bike and he is I think 5'5 five, five or 5'6 five, in height uh, and he manages this motorcycle beautifully because this one has a uh, very low seat height uh, and so he can manage it and also the weight is so less uh, it is very very easy to manage for him as well so this is not a review or anything like that this is just my impression how this uh, motorcycle behaves on the highway kaise hai cvr 250r ha उसके बाद ही पावर है इस गाड़ी में। चल चल निकल निकल। ऊपर किसे? पता नहीं। ऊपर ही होगा। हाँ? भाई पता है। तेरा लगा क्या? तेरा तेरा क्या व्यूज है इस गाड़ी पे? मतलब अंडररेटेड है या फिर क्या है? मतलब ज़्यादा लोग नहीं लेते हैं इस बाइक को। हाँ? ब्रेक क्या ब्रेक उतना अच्छा नहीं है हाँ ब्रेक उतना अच्छा नहीं है मतलब बाइक नहीं है मेरे को ठीक लगा ठीक है ठीक है चलो फिर
a beautiful ride, man. Like the owner said, the he says that the bike has uh, an average kind of brakes, but I think this no, this should be more than enough for uh, a beginner because a beginner shouldn't have too strong of a brakes because whenever he is panicking and he pushes the brake hard, he is sure to be fall down. So. I think it is both good thing and a bad thing. Maybe according to him, the bike should have been a little better. But I think this is this is totally fine. How the braking setup has been uh, kept in this bike, it is it is it is done beautifully. I think this is more than sufficient for a beginner who whoever is starting his highway riding or first uh, adventure touring bike. This bike does it all, man. You can ride it in city, uh, and uh, it gives you between 40 to 45 km PL of mileage. And this goes service for maybe I don't know what is the typical service period of this. I will ask the owner and I'll let you know in this video itself. And he is coming along with me and one more guy, Darshan, who owns the CB 300R. Uh, to Kulli Hills and we are returning back to Bangalore so you can see that we have already done approximately 400 kilometers in a day and still there are 200 kilometers left but still this bike is not feeling any stress it is handling very 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 well more than my expectation actually because if you compare it to the same segment bikes uh, which is the x 200 x 200 is very very tiresome the, that engine cannot handle more than 80 kmph or 90 kmph for a long time but this bike can and uh, this has no vibrations at all you see I am pushing at 6500 6, rpm at 90 km an hour there are absolutely no vibration there is a slight burst near my foot pegs but that's it apart from that there is there is no not at all even a single vibration near my handlebar under my seat or near my thighs near the petrol tank near my uh, buns nothing like that it is very 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 refined motorcycle though this does not get any fancy features like slipper clutch or uh, any liquid cooling or oil cooling this has the usd fox same as the hornet and uh, this one also uh, has that uh, an adventure kind of a uh, body kit on top of an Hornet 2.0 the meter is same as the motor Hornet 2.0 and it has all the information you need and I don't believe in all this information so you can research it on your own because I I all I want in a motorcycle to show in information is speed the RPM gear indicator also I don't want trip fuel meter and a heat sensor for the engine uh, what's the temperature of the engine that's it that is all i want if these four to five things are there in a motorcycle meter that is all i want i don't want instantaneous mileage i don't want trip mileage i don't want any i don't like any of those stuff i feel like more the number of those kind of things added to the bike it increases the cost it increases the weight and overall complexity of the bike and I just don't feel like using them I don't use them because if I have to calculate the mileage of my bike just today the CBR 250R I did the mileage calculation uh, for 335 kilometers which included 100 kilometers of uh, city riding and 235 kilometers of uh, highway riding it consumed 8.71 8 liters for 335 kilometers which returns about 38.8 uh, something uh, kmpl of mileage so that is the kind of calculation what I do I don't believe in meters what they show in instantaneous mileage but the CBR 250R is very good at uh, what uh, it delivers whatever it has is top notch the quality is top notch even in this bike the fairing and everything is top notch I mean there is no creaking there is no vibration there, there is no like any bad signa signals of build quality everything is so well put together the only reason why this bike doesn't sell is 
they have the misconception of uh, adventure bikes that they are off-road bikes whatever looks like this bike they consider as an off-road bike which it is not uh, I don't know whether it is a lack of knowledge or uh, lack of awareness about these bikes I think whoever is gonna buy two lakhs or a motorcycle I think they will do their own research they are capable of doing their research in YouTube forums or visiting just the showroom and testing, taking a test by themselves I think that is more of a good thing to do more than relying on just the rumors and believing in your own concept of things so if you are interested in this bike uh, I think you should go uh, and buy right away if you are a beginner whoever is uh, like uh, this bike is for whoever uh, like uh, want to upgrade from a uh, scooty or a uh, 125cc 110cc or a 100cc uh, commuter bike and they want to get into highway touring but they don't want to get into highway touring with a much more powerful bikes like the uh, KTM Adventure 250 or the KTM Adventure 390 or the Himalayan but they want a good uh, highway touring mo motorcycle I think this is a very 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 sensible choice and a very beautiful motorcycle what we have to consider it returns good mileage uh, the reliability is there we have all the features that you need for your lifetime and it has a single channel ABS that is the only thing what uh, I gripe about it uh, which is in the front so apart from that there is nothing negative in this bike man uh, if you are of a top end pillar this is not a bike which is made for you this bike is more of a cruising in the mid, mid range the, the low end and the mid range is very very good in this bike uh, I have to say I am very impressed because compared to my CBR 250R which has everything in the mid range and the top end this bike is a charm to ride in the city and the, on the highway because it picks up very good it has a very good torque in the low end and in the mid range so it, it returns good mileage no need to change the gears every now and then because in my CBR 250R you have to change the gears if you have to overtake uh, because it has such a tall gearing and high power band high rpm power band so compared to that i think this this motorcycle is very good whoever is you know trying to buy or looking for this motorcycle take a test ride and uh, i think you will definitely like it man this bike this bike really impressed me uh, the only i as i told this bike is not selling only because of lack of awareness and misconception that it is an off-road off -road motorcycle that's it Apart from that, I don't see any negatives in this bike. So if you like this video, make sure you love it uh, by giving it likes and uh, subscribe to my channel. Uh, this this bike deserves likes and, de and this bike deserves more sales in the Indian market. Uh, that's all from my end and uh, see you in my next video. Bye bye. Take care.